Hey everybody, this is Jim the Tabletop Engineer and welcome to a new video. This is not going to be a playthrough video. It's possible it might turn into one later. But uh, I just wanted to share something with Arkham Horror fans. I was at the game store yesterday and just happened to catch this on the shelves. It just came out. I'd never heard anything about it. No, I, I try to keep up with the current Arkham Horror uh, you know, news, but this was a complete, complete surprise to me. So uh, it was $40. Um, I think I, I got my, my store, store discount, so it was like 32 or 33 for me, but figure about $40. <laughs> um, if you've ever played an escape room get board game, that's kind of what this is. It says it's an interactive online adventure. Let me uh, flip it over and read the back to you. So for, first off, it's for one to four players. Uh, it says it averages 120 minutes for play time, and it's for ages 14 and up. It says the road to Innsmouth begins here. Help Stella Clark survive the haunting cobblestone streets of Innsmouth and make it alive to her mysterious meeting. Use the collectible physical artifacts for an augmented point-and-click escape experience. Crack the clues, solve the ciphers, and uncover the horror that lies waiting at Innsmouth in this deluxe immersive adventure. And then it says box artifacts, which I'm going to go over in just a minute. It says starring Persephone Valentine as the voice of Stella Clark. So there is a digital element to this. So let me, I've already opened it up. Uh, this is not a true unboxing. I've, I've, I've unboxed it and looked through it. But the reason I did it was there's a code in here that I can't let you see because once you use the code, it's, it's up. So here's the instruction sheet you get. I've taped over my code so you can't, can't see it. Um, it says, before you begin your adventure, there's a few steps you need to take to set up and start playing. Below is your unique code. So each box comes with a unique, a unique code. Then it says you go to this website, you type your code in, and then you enter your name to start the game. It indicates that there's a single player mode and a multiplayer mode. So um, that's kind of cool. And then for physical artifacts, this is what's interesting. Even if you're missing an artifact from the box, or let's say you give it to a friend, but you want to keep one of the components, okay? Uh, it says throughout the game you encounter puzzles that require you to use information from the physical artifacts. If for any reason you are not able to access a physical artifact, go to the settings menu, show sig select show digital artifacts to reveal virtual versions. So technically you could play this game with just the website and the address because all of the items in here, there are digital versions of it. Now obviously I would like... Uh, Fantasy Flight and Hourglass Escapes, which looks like they're partnering with Fantasy Flight. Hourglass Escapes. Obviously, I want them to do more of these. So let's all agree that we're not going to share our codes. Um, and 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 uh, you know, we want if you if, if this is something that interests you, buy it. Support the company so that they'll they'll make more. Because if if they find that people are giving out these uh, codes and, and allowing people to play with digital artifacts so that you don't have to buy the actual box. That's not going to bode well for for future uh, uh, you know future games like this. This may be very well a test to see how this works. Um, I know that I've played some escape room board games. Uh, quite played a few of them, and they're very fun. And what happens with them is you end up cutting pieces or tearing things or or, or writing on things, and so it's kind of hard to to give it to a person to to play. Uh, a, you know, another group could play it, so you sort of ruin the game. This doesn't look like it offers that. It, it looks like you can get around that. But again, let's try not to do that. Let's try to keep the company uh, happy and, and hopefully making more of these. Let's take a look what's in here. So there is a small poster uh, with some stuff on the back. I'm not looking too carefully at this because I haven't played this yet. I want the surprises to remain. So um, we have some small poster. There's an, uh, a map that unfolds. And again, I'm not looking too close at it. Uh, a couple postcards with stuff on the back, I imagine. Uh, looks like a bus ticket, some sort of business card. Uh, it looks like a bookmark to the little bookshop right here. And again, there's probably stuff on the back that I'm, I'm just showing you real quick that there's stuff there. Um, it looks like you get a metal coin. Yep, metal. Um, some sort of key to the Gilman House Hotel. It looks metal, copper but it's plastic, so it's not, not metal. The coin is metal, and then you get this little Cthulhu idol. Now, it's it's plastic, but it's it's not light. It's got a little heft to it, so yeah, it, it'll, it'll look good on a desk. <laughs> so when I'm done playing with this, uh, that's going on a shelf. 
Um, I will go ahead and tell you, I am a huge, huge fan of the mythos and the Lovecraft stories, and I collect props. I make props. I love the 1920s era, um, and so stuff like these bookmarks and bus tickets and stuff like that, just a just a huge fan of it. Um, this alone, <laughs> that alone is just really, really nice looking. It, it, it uh, it's hard to, hard to say, but it, it looks authentic. All right, so that is it. I'm gonna put everything back in here uh, the way it originally went, put this on top, and I will let you know, I'm probably not gonna record my playthrough of this because I just don't think this will lend itself well to recording since there is a virtual reality component to it. Um, and, and since I'm gonna be doing it on a computer screen, eh, it's probably not gonna do well. But there you go, The Road to Innsmouth, uh, an interactive online adventure. It's part of the Arkham Horror series, so if you are a fan of the Arkham Horror series, whether it's Mansions of Madness, uh, Arkham Horror card game, Arkham Horror the board game, Eldritch Horror, you name it, uh, this is probably going to be of interest to you. Standard size uh, box, as a lot of the Arkham Horror stuff comes in, pretty light because there's not much in it. It's a, it's a digital game, so just be aware of that. All right, that's all I have in this video. This is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Uh, if you have played this and you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, don't give away any spoilers, please. Um, and I will definitely give you some feedback after I have completed it. All right, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Thanks for joining me. Everybody, take care.